Hello gorgeous Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Stay open to your intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You may see a sign, a symbol, an image on one of the cards, something really resonates for you. Take notice of this because this is Spirit speaking to you in your situation and there's a message there for you. So let's take a look at your first card and it's about optimism and positive beliefs. All right, let's take a look at what it says. Optimism is focusing on the positive side of life. True optimism does not dismiss the negative, but rather chooses to focus on a solution and not the problem itself. Positivity is to see the obstacle for what it is and at the same time to remember and to be grateful for everything that works well in our life. It is to acknowledge the challenge we are facing, but also to be aware that there is learning and growth in the difficulty. Being positive is to know that at the end, all is going to work out. Now, I feel this is this is um, confirming to you. I feel this is a confirming energy that things will work out and there is no point in worrying. There's no point in being anxious about it because there is learning and growth in the difficulty you may be going through right now and to maintain that mindset is gold right now that's exactly where spirit wants you to be to maintain the mindset of optimism and positive beliefs about the situation or about or about yourself um, and have a knowing internally emotionally intuitively you have a feeling that all is going to work out and that's why i'm feeling spirit is saying try not to reminisce ponder ruminate um, because that's just going to be counterproductive so let's take a look at the focus um, the focus you may like to focus on positive the pol positive elements in your life and feel the expanding joyful energy of positivity in your heart and the affirmation you may like to use is I stay rooted in positivity I focus on solutions and experience gratitude for all the wonderful things in my life. So you may like to use that affirmation to help uh, stay on this optimistic trail throughout the week. So let's take a look here, Scorpio, at one of these cards. This one here is your card, Disappointment. So perhaps recently you have had a disappointment or there will be a disappointment coming up. Um, let's see what it says. When our expectations are not met, when something that we envisioned, that we envisioned and were hoping for does not happen, we feel disappointed. It pains our heart and shatters our trust in the decisions of the universe. In our eyes, when things do not go as planned, our progress is delayed, or at least our vision of the progress. In reality, a change of plans can be just, um, can be, uh, be a detour, a more beneficial way to achieve our goal or a sign to reevaluate our plans. We must keep our eye on the big picture and not get lost in the hurt. So this is important to understand if there's been a disappointment recently. It's important not to get lost in the hurt. It's important to realize that there is a, the change of plans that's happening can just be a detour. It doesn't mean that it's going to be the end for all time. It doesn't mean that things aren't still going to shift and go positively for you. So this disappointment is... A temporary energy that's what I feel I, I really do feel Scorpio that your life is about to change in a positive way and it's big the energy is very big um, so I do feel that's why spirits bring out this card here optimism positive beliefs because this may have happened recently and you'll know if it has of course and spirit wants you to expect 
positive things because that's what's actually coming in that spirit doesn't want you to dwell in this energy um, any longer than you should so let's take a look now at one of these cards here guidance for Scorpio please spirit guidance for Scorpio let's see this one here is your card searching within okay What I see outside myself is simply a mirror of my inner self. Today, I empower myself by looking past outer conditions and searching within for the source of a difficulty in my life. My inner wisdom will always help me face life's challenges. It's, it provides me my best answers and my greatest healing. As I study myself, I am transformed. So there is a need to search within, or you may already be in this energy. You may already be feeling that you're going within, you're searching within and understanding that what you see outside of yourself is simply a mirror to your inner self. So that's, that's key. That's key to recognize. Guidance for Scorpio, please spirit. Let's see what this deck reveals for you. Message for Scorpio this one here learning to love myself this is really nice to come after searching within so you're searching within and you're going to find um, an ability to love self learning to love myself beautiful I choose to see the beauty in me my wealth lies in my nature and potential I transform my weaknesses into strengths. I realize that I am a being of light and I allow myself to shine. See, this is the thing. This is the thing, Scorpio. You get to choose to shine. You get to allow yourself to shine. And it can be difficult if you've had knockbacks, if you've had disappointments of any kind. It can be really difficult to allow this brightness and light to shine through, but you get to choose that. And it does come down to love of self and so the, the self-worth aspect coming into play. So that is... Um, that is so beautiful that you're actually in this energy and realizing that there is potential and that the universe does have your back and that you are a powerful being and that your light is valuable in the world. Regardless of what this disappointment is or letdown that you've had recently. So let's take a look at this deck for you. Let's take this card here. The Queen of Swords. Okay, so the Queen of Swords. Now this is, I feel this is your energy. I feel that there may for some have been a third party situation happening here. In romance. That may be the disappointment for some. The Queen of Swords energy, this is, I feel your energy. I feel that there's a, a withdrawal from your emotional self. I feel that, or from a situation that causes upheaval emotionally. And that's exactly where you need to be. That's where you need to be right now if you've been through emotional turmoil. And you're not going to be, um, you're quite forthright when it comes to communication. So you're going to be open or you should be open. Spirit's encouraging you to be open uh, with what you say um, to, to whoever it may be, whether it is a third party love situation or whether it's something else going on where you feel um, the need to speak up this card is supportive of that and so don't be afraid to speak up and speak your mind speak from experience speak from your soul this week the ten of pentacles now this is good this is a really great sign and energy there is a there is a desire to manifest or to bring into your life something very attractive whether it's a person whether it is a 
um, material financial thing, but you're working toward it. Okay. You're putting the plan, your plans into action. Okay. So your life might be getting ready to change in this type of way, um, because you're putting plans into action and you are, mm, you're preparing the way for this energy to come in, whether it be financial, work-wise, or abundance in another way. The I'll also mention that the Ten of Pentacles can also mean that there's a retirement or there's something uh, you're wanting a nest egg for yourself financially, materially. There's something like that going on. And it looks like you're going to be able to achieve it. It does feel like that to me. Yes, the three of pentacles, working on securing your life, the foundations of your life in some way. Laying foundations, securing foundations so that you have a brighter, better future. And so you have a goal, you have an intention. And if you don't have an intention toward this, then you'll start to feel that very soon. You'll start to get an, a feeling toward, toward building something in your life or creating more wealth or more harmony, perhaps more security which will bring harmony in your life in some way more security might be in a relationship perhaps let's see what we have here so we have the hermit now this is virgo's card so you may have a virgo around you someone significant in your life or perhaps virgo is a significant placement in your chart and that reading may have something for you so the hermit is about finding your own inner light and being guided toward this and having the courage to having the courage to to follow your dreams, having the courage to um, take a step back when needed and rest. So knowing when to take a step back and when to move forward. So discerning those energies, but also having the courage to step forward into the unknown, to step forward into an unpredictability because you're following your inner guidance it's a powerful energy so let's see what your final card is it might be about love relationships for you the lovers so the love your love interest taking a focus there's an energy and intention toward love um, and you if you are single, this energy, this energy is bringing in some kind of connection for you very soon. And that's why it's coming up in the reading. And it's, it's also about if love and romance doesn't resonate for you, this is about connecting to your purpose, your life purpose, something that you love or that you're passionate about that's on the way for you you're connecting to it in a true way and with the hermit energy here it that it is that that inner truth that is guiding your your way forward here into this connection so you've got some very powerful energy surrounding you this week Scorpio I hope you have a fantastic week I hope the reading has been helpful for you and that spirit has spoken to your heart and you've understood the messages that spirit has brought through this reading for you so I will talk to you again soon Scorpio bye for now